Well, hi there. I'm here with Matthew. Matthew, and I'm Kara, and we're happy to see you again today. We hope you had a really good Thanksgiving. We had a good Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's actually still fun doing this even though Caroline's not here. Yes, Caroline is. Caroline is in ballet. She's a she's a ballerina, isn't she? <laughs> and she's in the Nutcracker, which is just a virtual Nutcracker this year, at, in the at the Camden Opera House. So even though people can't come and see her. And they're only doing one show instead of all the shows that they usually do. She's there practicing, isn't she? Yes. So it's just the two of us today. We had a good Thanksgiving. We hope you did too. And now we are preparing for what season? What's next? Winter. Winter is the next season, mm -hmm. and we celebrate Advent. Remember yes. those those four Sundays before what? Um, Christmas. Yes. Right. So, we're getting ready for Christmas. Maybe you've already gotten your tree. Maybe you have decorated with some lights. We haven't gotten our tree yet, but that's a fun thing that we, we're going to do later today, right? Wait, we're actually in our tree. Oh, yes. So what do I have here? Um, uh, a, a gift? <laughs> yeah, a gift. A present? There's a do few. you like presents? Yes, there's a few different words in my so I can't really know which one to say. Right, so you could say a gift, a present, a box. Um, yeah. A gift box. A gift box, yes. So if I were to give this to you, would that be exciting? Yeah, I guess a gift box or something would mean that it's just a box. Mm -hmm. So can you think of one of the best gifts you've ever gotten? Um, monkey. Your monkey. Tell, tell them about monkey. Who's monkey? Well, he's basically like a stuffed animal. Yeah. Um, Yes. I don't really know when I was little. I didn't really have a name, so I just called him Monkey. <laughs> yeah. And then that became his name. That became his name. So you got Monkey. Do you remember what birthday? Like my second birthday. Your first birthday. Oh, yes. Your very first birthday, he got Monkey. And he's had Monkey with him since that time. So Monkey's getting old, just like you. He's seven. He, we're the same age. Yeah. He's Pretty seven. much. He's a year younger than you. Oh, yeah, he's six. He's six and you're seven. Yeah. This year he'll be um, seven. And you'll be? Eight. Yes. In a couple weeks, Matthew will be eight. Hard to believe. So, do you want to open this? Yeah. I really like gifts. Sometimes waiting to open gifts is the best part, do you think? Mm -hmm. Or do you just like to tear into the gifts? Uh, I don't really know. A mix of both. A mix of both. Okay, go ahead and take the lid off and we'll look what's in it. So there's um Okay, hang on. Let's do this one first. You wanna hold that one up? Okay. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. Yes. Do you ever wonder what God looks like? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I remember when I was little I thought God had a big gray beard. Oh wait. I don't know why. Just but look. If you put this way it can look like a mother. It does. <laughs> when I was a little girl I thought God had a big gray beard. I don't know why. With white clothes and I dreamed that he flew around. I don't know. <laughs> but what's special about Christmas, it's, you know, God sent his son Jesus to the earth. So we had a glimpse of God in Jesus, didn't we? And you can see here that this Jesus... He has a little blanket over him. Hopefully his mom had a, had a blanket. Yeah, hopefully it's not some stranger. Yeah, or a donkey's blanket. It might have been. You know, I'm sure that I'm sure that Mary didn't have a baby shower like like new mamas do where they get all kinds of special baby gifts for when their baby comes. But when Jesus was born, it says that the that his mom wrapped him 
in swaddling clothes like a blanket and laid him in a manger. Do you know what a manger is? That word manger? I never knew what it was as a kid, but a manger is really like a feeding trough for cows. So it was like a raised container thing, thing off the ground and they would put feed in it and that's where the animals would eat out of. And it made a nice little high bed for baby Jesus. Jesus. Yes. How about this one? The Christmas star. What do you know about the Christmas star? Mm, well, do you remember anything? Well, oh, actually, it guided the shepherds yes. to Jesus. It did guide the shepherds to Jesus. And you know what? So that brings us to this. The lamb. The lamb, the sheep. So you know what? No. Back in Bible times, shepherds were not thought of as being very special people, very important people. They were just kind of out in the field watching the sheep. But out of all the people that God could have alerted to the birth of Jesus, do you know who he alerted? The shepherds. The shepherds. He picked the shepherds. He thought the shepherds were really important, and God loves all of us. And he thinks we're all special, including you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you look at that sheep, I want you to think about that. That how important you are to God and that he made you very special. Okay. What appeared in the sky? So we saw this. They saw the star. And what happened in the sky? There was something else that came up into the sky. Um, an angel. Yes. So the angels told the shepherds what? Did they say, down the road there's a McDonald's? No. What did they say? They said, like, they kind of looked like Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Come see him. Follow that star. Now, you know, does the story end there? No. Does Jesus say, stay a baby? No. There are so many days that I wish that you were still a baby, you know, but right before Christmas, you're going to turn eight years old mm -hmm. and next year you'll be nine and then 10 and you're going to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow into a young man, just like Jesus did. Jesus didn't stay little either. He didn't stay in that manger. And let's think about all the amazing things Jesus did in his life as a young boy, he was really interested in learning about Jesus, and he went to the temple. Not He was Jesus, not learning about Jesus. He was interested in learning about God, and he went to the temple. Yeah, well, and, why don't you want to learn about yourself? <laughs> yes. And what else did he do? Um, he, he healed a lot of people. Yes. Yeah. He taught them about God's love. He traveled and traveled and traveled. He died to... on the cross. Oh, Matthew, you got to the most important part. What do we have here? Um, well, my necklace from when I was baptized. Yes. And whose necklace was this? Do you remember? It was my grandpa. Yes. And so you got this as a gift when you were baptized. It was your great-grandfather's, and you oh, yes. got yes. it from your grandma. She gave it to you. So... The story of Jesus doesn't end in the manger, but, and it doesn't end with the cross either. Why not? Um, well. Does Jesus stay on the cross? No. What happens? Well, he, he got to, then he was, well, he was put in a tomb, but then he came out yes. as, well, a angel. He rose from the dead, didn't he? He didn't stay in that tomb. He didn't stay on that cross. And so this Christmas, what I want you to think about as we begin this holy season of Advent, I want you to think about Jesus as a baby. We, we, we have a really happy, joyful time celebrating Christmas when we prepare for Jesus' birthday. Mm -hmm. But I want you to think about all of the blessings that we have through this tiny life. We have God coming to earth. We have all the lessons and stories that he taught us through the Bible. And we have the, the celebration of Jesus rising from the dead. And 
I hope you never forget how very special you are like those shepherds, that you mean everything to God. And I hope that this holy season that you will think of, of how special you are to God and shine brightly like that star in the sky that led the shepherds. I hope you shine brightly for God. Now I have something in here that is also wrapped. It's a Tootsie, it's a tootsie Roll. Would you like this? Oh yeah. I'll take it. Would you like this gift? Oh, as a gift, not really. Would you like it? Oh well, yeah, I would like to eat it. But... That's what I mean. Yeah. I so, would. so when I give you candy or I give you a gift and you say yes, you want it. Do you know that Jesus is a gift to you? Mm -hmm. And He wants you to say yes, I want it. I want that gift. I want the love of God in my heart, and I want to live my life for God. So I hope you think about that, too, when you get some gifts. That Jesus is a gift to you, and he wants you to be so excited to receive it, just like you are some of the other gifts that you get. And I hope that gift is the most special and most important your whole life through. All right. Should we say it? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Dear God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for gifts. It's so much fun to give gifts and to see the joy on others' faces. And it's so much fun to receive gifts and to feel special ourselves. We thank you so much for the most important, most spectacular gift we could have ever been given in your son, Jesus. Help us to remember this holiday season that you are why we celebrate and Please, God, help us to focus on you and all the love that you give us. Please keep us safe and healthy and strong. And may we be more like you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a really good week. Bye. Bye.